We've learned the definition of disjoint and not disjoint, but to continue on, we need to learn another definition, namely of the complement of an event. So the complement of an event is all the outcomes in the sample space that are not in event E. So it's denoted several ways. Um, the most common for us is E with a little C after it, but you can actually do it as E prime or E bar. They all mean the same thing. They mean you're not in E. Let me give you an example. So let's go to our handy dandy friend, the cards, shall we? So if I have the deck of cards here, and if this is hearts in here, right? So I have all my heart cards in here. Then out here in the sample space would be all the not hearts, right? So let me see. Oop, hearts complement. There we go. It's all the events in the sample space that are not in hearts. So what would that mean? Hearts complement would be... Or you could say hearts prime, same thing, which is the same thing as hearts with a little bar over it. They all mean the same thing. They all mean not a heart. Well, if you're not a heart, what are you? That means you're a diamond. Ooh, I'll even color code this, a club or a spade. And there you go. So those, these three right here and this right here mean the same thing. Now, there's one other thing to note here, which is voice. So this is a negative voice. You're saying it's not a heart. So I'm saying negative, right? It's negative, not a full heart. This is a positive voice. And there are times when we want to use one and there are times when we want to use the other. So you need to be able to do both, which is why I have you practicing that in this example down here. So let's do so. So I'm going to roll a 10-sided die, ooh, 10-sided die, and I want to roll an even number. Well, I happen to have a 10-sided die right here. All right, so this is a 10-sided die, and its even numbers actually are right there. Those are all the even numbers. Oop, there they were. <laughs> so, and then there are all the odd numbers. Okay, so let's see here. If event E is rolling an even number, and they want us to state the complement, and that's not compliment like, hey, you look nice today. That's with an I. <laughs> compliment. This is complement, right? So it's more nerdy. <laughs> right? So complement would be E complement would be not rolling an even number. Right? It's not even. Or I could say not rolling an even number if you like, you know, whichever. All right. That's negative voice. So I did negative voice right here. Let me do positive voice. Um, I'll do it in green. So if you didn't roll an even number, what did you roll? You rolled an odd number. Right? That's positive voice. Okay, next. What about AB blood? So event E... I don't know why I named all these E. I'm going to change them up and call them different things. So I'm going to call this one A. There, just to give us some variety. So we've got something different to look at. All right, so if event A is having AB blood, then A complement would not have AB blood. And if, again, if you want, you could write A prime or A with a little bar on it, but the one we use the most is A with a little C after it, and it's a little higher up. Okay, well, if you do not have AB blood, what do you have? You have A, B, or O blood. Those are the four most common types. Okay, what about the biological sex of two children? Mm. So event G, let me just say it over here, is girl, girl, right? Because you're having both girls like that, girl, girl. So G complement would be not having girl, girl. Well, what would that mean? That would mean you have a boy, 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 girl, or girl, boy. See all that stuff we learned in 5.1 is coming in handy for being able to find the sample space in our brains. All right, now let's see here. Selecting a person at random 
and I made this F because I can't use P. P is the one letter we generally never use for um, events because P of P would be a little bit weird. <laughs> so I did F for fur because I figured they're furry, they're pets. All right, so having less than three pets. So if F is having less than three pets, F complement would be not having less than three pets. It's a little weird. I mean, think about what less than three pets would mean, by the way. Less than three pets would mean you have zero pets, one pet, or two pets, right? So you do not have less than three pets. So what would that mean? That would mean you have three or more. See, less than is zero, one, and two. So you'd have three or more pets. Sky's the limit. Three, four, five pets. And I'll just let it keep going. Who knows? Maybe you have a whole bunch of tarantulas, right? Okay, so that helps us with complement. It is all the events that are not in the event you're looking at. So event F is having less than three pets. The complement then is all the other things in the sample space that are not having less than three pets. In other words, three, four, five, or six, and so on.